EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the great state of Florida, live third-round coverage of the Wetlands Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Noda Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a commanding five-shot lead here as he has been spectacular thus far. And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. So, Frank, here we are on this glorious Saturday afternoon. Our featured golfer in the lead looking for what would be a second win on the PGA Tour here in year one. And, and to me, we're seeing someone who appears to be completely comfortable out there. How long, I'm curious, Frank, did it take for you to feel that way once you became a pro? Well, certainly not as quick as that, Rich. It took me, you know, at least a handful of years. But, you know, I grew up a long way away from here in New Zealand, so I was always traveling, always playing in somebody else's backyard. Uh, to, to grow up here, play the PGA Tour, win that quickly and have a chance to do win number two, this is a totally different stratosphere. I mean, this person, I mean, they've got the goods, really. Uh, you know, once again, this is a player that you have to keep your eye on going forward. And that one needed a little bit more. It's gonna come back and come to rest just off the front edge of the green. job to deaden it right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. Okay, that's in for par here at the first, and he'll remain at minus 12. Okay, a little local knowledge there. He gets that ball to work back onto the green. And now a birdie putt coming up. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. to get up that slope it is in for a birdie and that's going to move him into red figures for the round and 13 under for the tournament <laughs> nothing to fault there safely in the fairway Second shot, good look at the green. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money really to make birdie.
Ah, uh, nicely done, and things looking good early. That's birdies at two and three. And he moves to two under for his round, 14 under for the tournament. You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. From close range, this for a two. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. So close to being good, that second shot. Now, a tricky bunker shot. Oh, I'd give that an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Been in a fairway bunker and safely on the green. You never know. Might even sneak a birdie. Sensational. What a putt there. From a long way out. That somehow... Goes down for a birdie to 16 under par. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 129 yards left to the flag today. Pin on the right-hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. It is in for a birdie, 
and he moves to 17 under par. Tell you what, the game's just coming easy right about now. Five straight birdies on the card and another beautiful tee shot here. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Eleven feet away. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. He's got it to minus eighteen. Okay, safely aboard. Yes! Seven birdies in a row now. Will certainly help the cause. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Now this for another birdie. Yes, very methodically done, and that one in for a birdie. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass.
safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Leading is one thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. You bet, a birdie here at the 11. And he will definitely not say no to that. That one looking a little right. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Well, that worked out really well. Landing just short, gets that little bump onto the green, and now maybe a huge bump on the scorecard, Frank, if this putt goes down for an eagle. Well worked out second shot, Rich. You could not fly that ball on the green and expect it to finish up on that front third. Yeah, that's good putt. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. Chance now for another birdie. Ah, uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. Will certainly help the cause. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was gonna be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Ah, well done. That one rolled in for a birdie. And he will definitely not say no to that. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. Oh, yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to move him to 24 under par.
turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this another fine tee shot. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three way trying to get home to this par five and two but still in the ball game for a birdie. That is absolutely fine. Now this for another birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And he's got it to 25 under par now. Tell you what, the game's just coming easy right about now. Five straight birdies on the card and another beautiful tee shot here. So now from the left side of the fairway, this is a second shot. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. I'm not quite sure that strike whether they got it all, but ball's just come up a little shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Oh, straight into the cup. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Yeah, that's good part. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. And that's a good approach shot, too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for birdie. Chance now for another birdie. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green before the round. This should have a good chance to go in. Oh, needed just a little bit of a turn. But that will somehow stay right on the edge. 
So a tap in there. That's for par at the last. And that's all that was needed. This will be a round of 58. So could lightning strike twice here for the rookie on top of the leaderboard after 54 holes. And Frank trying to win for the second time this season. I would 